you're running out of creative ideas to spice up your summer barbecues this year, how about adding some Mexican flavors and spices? Steve Gill is here from Quesada Burritos and Tacos, and he's going to show us how it's done. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. So these are our traditional Mexican flavors. Yeah, well, it's uh, agua frescas are just a fresh fruit drink. That's all it means, fresh fruit drink. And uh, obviously they have an abundance of fruits. Mm -hmm. We have like, you know, I have here some tro more of a tropical option here. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's just pineapple. You can add mint, you can add jalapeno if you want to give it a little bit of a, a spin. Right. Uh, this one is with some watermelon here, watermelon nice. and mint. We always simple. think of margaritas, but this is so, it says fresh, mocktails, but without but the alcohol. All of these things <laughs> can be optionally added. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, and then what we'll show you right now, if you want to help me out, is make sure. a strawberry cucumber agua fresca mm. and it's basically strawberries cucumbers about two to one cucumber to strawberry okay not quite um, you just want to dump them in, in the there, water yeah. here and we'll just make sure you don't get yep, wet. we're gonna <laughs> splash here anything cucumber in just in water alone is really nice in well, the summer it's refreshing exactly and it's like the watermelon as well like you don't even need to add necessarily sugar it's more personal preference right and uh, so a lot of them have a bit of a lime base so I'll just squeeze a couple of those in there. Okay. About two tablespoons for this. This amount, maybe a little more. And we'll just put, if you want to just get about a tablespoon a of sugar. A little bit of sugar, yeah, okay. Just. And then it, it's, it's so simple if you want to just okay. blend that up. I get to all, do the mixing. Play guard. Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Are we looking for like a puree? Yeah, I mean, it. Typically, you make it in a small batch, you make it with a small amount of water, mix it so it'll mix better, and then add the rest. But here, I just put it all in, and, and that's good. You kind of come up with. Um, there we go. It comes out somewhere between a, a fresh, watery drink and a smoothie, depending right. on how much you add. And then it's just we can add ice there, or. Uh, and this is where, if you wanted to put some tequila in, you can put that rum. in at any part of the process. <laughs> so uh, this one, you know, we have. That looks nice and it's fresh. Nice and fresh. A little bit of ice. That's a great... Uh, nice. Okay, so if you're having a drink like that, you need to have it by the hot barbecue and yeah, while you're so, cooking up some sides. Uh, just a couple of different things. You were talking about spicing it up, and we have here grilled jalapenos. So mm -hmm. I just put a little bit of olive oil on them and some sea salt. And you did that whole? And just, yeah, you depending on your heat tolerance. Okay. You may want to core it out, get rid of the ribs and the seeds. Because that's where just, the real heat is, right? That's where the real heat is in, in the fleshy ribs. Okay. Not so much the seeds. Okay. But this, when I went to Cabo last year on vacation, every bar you sat down, they just had a, a bowl of these. Really? And it was delicious, and so now I do it all. Another thing is, instead of sort of the standard topping of corn, uh, butter on your corn, mm -hmm. we can do something like this. This is a sour cream mixed with lime juice. Oh, okay. And uh, we don't have a great spot to put it here, but just sort of drizzle it on. Mm. Um, and then depending on spices, if some you chili like powder the heat. or cayenne powder. That's different. Yeah, and it, it's do that. And we also have, if you want, a bit of like a sharp cheese. Like, right. So here I have some feta. You could have some Mexican cotilla cheese or. So if you had friends over, you could have this all set you up. You could have like these all dressed already, swirl it on nicely, and just have them set up on a platter. Nice. Ready to go. Or you could yeah. have them dress their own. Yeah, I mean, I, I did it yesterday with, at a barbecue with friends. And Big hit. Oh yeah, everybody loves this because they can put on as much spice as they want. Right, so, exactly. Yeah. Very nice. All right, and it's all in Last, the display too, right? Well, the thing about all Mexican food is it's not so much, I mean, at the highest levels it's about technique, but mostly it's about fresh quality ingredients and the, the taste comes out, you know, it's just very approachable and easy for anybody to make, like that drink. Yeah, for sure. Well, you yeah. don't want to be spending all your time in the kitchen when you have company. No, and, and a lot of this, I mean, all this you just get ready in advance and uh, enjoy Beautiful. your... Beautiful. Non-tequila or tequila-based. I'm going to sample this while we go to break.